So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be going through the brand new update that did go live for Ark Survival Evolved on the PC, Xbox and the PlayStation. The console update was actually really big so there's lots to go through today and if you guys do get all of the information you need to know make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and we're just going to be going through all of the patch notes today. Now the PC update wasn't as big and that's because obviously they tend to get a lot of the updates earlier in smaller updates and then when it's all good and everything's perfect it then goes through certification with Microsoft and Sony and then it comes through with a massive massive update on the console. It always happens but anyway let's just get straight in with it now. So as you can see this is PC first and then we'll go through the console one afterwards. So fix some exploits. Fix the bug that prevented players from repairing items in dino inventories that functioned as a smithy. Fix the bug that caused the charge lantern to lose quality when placed and picked up. Fix the bug that prevented some boss flags from being placed. Fix some voiceover bugs. Fix some PvE exploits. Fix some incorrect spawns with summoner. Fix some areas that prevented the giant turtle from building. Fix some client stalls when using the tech incubator. Fix the bug that would cause items to be lost in the loadout mannequin when using a non-survivor dermis. Fix a bug where players were being killed when entering a mission mounted from a stegosaurus. Fix a bug where some explorer notes would repeat themselves on unlock. Rework the shadow main leap so it works better on servers with low frame rate and fix the bug where it would jump too far in some cases. Remove some redundant options in metal elevator platform multi-use wheel. Textrider beds are now named after the Textrider itself. Made some balance tweaks to trap and hunt missions to reduce overall difficulty. So if you are playing on the PC and watching this video, that is the full update that did go live. There was a update of about a week ago that I didn't actually manage to cover because it was literally just fix some server side crashes. And that is pretty much the same that came to console. So moving over to the console patch notes now. Now bear in mind, I always read through the first one I click on when it comes to console because it's exactly the same update on the patch notes. It's just obviously it's a different version. This is version 934.2 uh, on Xbox and version 694.4 uh, on PlayStation. The reason why they're so different is because Xbox was released. The Xbox version was released way before the PlayStation one. Anyway, you guys have come for the update and look how much there is. So... Fix the bug where you could get inaccurate taming effectiveness on some creatures. Fix some megalodon gest gestation time and it once again matches the giant turtle. Fix some placement issues with some trophies. Fix some cases where certain explorer notes would not play when accessed via the explorer note UI. Fix the bug where the HLNA crafting explorer notes would not unlock when using different uh, characters on the same account. Fix some cases on Genesis Part 1 where the Explorer notes would not unlock properly on the server. Fix the case where wild snow owls wouldn't be able to attack. Fix the HLNA opacity settings not affecting her movement, SFX, and also fixed a bug where you couldn't craft the tech replicator on Genesis Part 1. Fix the bug where players could, uh, could move netted creatures. Fix some cases where the Noglin could attach in cases it shouldn't, and some cases where a Noglin has attached it would be in a broken state. Fix the bug on the Star Wing Strike mission where your camera could, could get stuck when using the gamepad. Um, fix the case where players sometimes do not get their race a creature slash canoe. Fix the bug where some saddle engrams were missing from their respective crafting stations. Fix the bug where some items with overlays would cause serious visual issues in split screen. Um, fix the bug where defeating the King Titan would, wouldn't display on your implant. Fix the bug where the Baryonyx wouldn't regenerate health on killing fish. Fix the bug with the, Brontos, uh, the Brontosaurus's IK. Fix some level design related bugs such as holes, floating foliage, incorrect volumes, incorrect damage multipliers. Fix the bug where players would be unable to remount the Void Worm if a player was killed during the taming process. Fix the bug which caught, uh, causing visual artifacts in water. Fix the bug where some wild creatures wouldn't be able to damage each other. Fix the bug where you wouldn't be able to use 000 as a valid pin on pressure plates and tech sensors. Fix the bug where lamp post ominite lights, uh, ominites, sorry, um, uh, tech lights were having the option to reset when you would leave uh, render distance or anything like that. 
um, fixed a bug which allowed 0G buff to persist outside of the space vi uh, biome, fixed and protected against multiple exploits, and fixed and protected against multiple server and client crashes, fixed some st server stalls, fixed some cases where players could get into, the de into a desync state, Fix a bug which caused unclaimed baby dino corpses to fall through the map when killed. Fix the bug where the shadow main could do higher than intended damage in some cases. Fix the bug where turrets that were powered by the copy settings feature would not automatically turn back on when the generator, uh, when uh, the generator they were powered was refueled. Um, fix a bug which made players unable to use the tech sword charge ability when the shoulder cannon was equipped. Fix some false positive anti-mesh detection. Fix some cases where certain structures were not respecting tribe rank rules. Fix the bug where the egg incubator would not display stats for certain creature eggs, such as the Bloodstalker and the Giant Turtle. Fix the bug where the Cryopod UI would display incorrectly and display hidden color regions. Fix the bug which prevented text gifts from being crafted due to nearby, uh, nearby void worms. Fix the bug which prevented resources from respawning due to near nearby uh, void worms. Fix the bug which caused gatches to provide the wrong fungal wood. Fix some more edge cases where noglins could still fly certain, uh, fly certain flying creatures underwater. Fix some edge cases where mission data could have been lost. Prevented being able to drop eggs in the non-overworld mission zones such as survive the arc. Fix some exploits. Fix some server and client crashes. Fix some VO bugs. Fix some PVE exploits. Fix the bug where the Noglin Chibi was always in its default animation. Fix the bug where Genesis Part 1 missions could not be tracked. Fix the bug where the minigun would reset to primitive quality after server restarts. On unofficials, you can now enable additional dupe protection by using the use item dupe check. Note this could have an effect on mods, so use with caution. Time 6 structure damage has been removed from vents on Genesis Part 2. Extinction Explorer Note 21 has been moved so it's no longer in the mesh. Um, prevented being able to build through mission dispatches on Genesis Part 2. Um, significantly reduced the delay when transferring items between inventories or dropping items on the ground. A side effect of a crash and stall related from the previous patch. Um, no glins can attach to flyers and use them in um, no, no fly zones but not underwater. Net immunity cooldown increased from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. When releasing a dino from a cryopod on servers using enable cryopod nerf, the creature will not be able to be netted for the duration of that buff. On official PvP, this is set to 10 seconds. Plant species R decay time has been increased to 20 days. Tech sensor and canvas now respect enemy foundation range. Made some tweaks to the Starwing rays so it can no longer be comp uh, completed without moving the Astrodelphus. Creatures spawned by hunt missions can no longer be netted. Made some balan uh, balance tweaks to trap and hunt missions to reduce overall difficulty. Race missions prep time has now been doubled. Shadow main can no longer um, can no longer jump slash blink when it has C4 attached to it, similar to the mana. Updated some tech strings to be more accurate in the game, and then added two new cheat commands, which is add chibi XP and add chibi XP to player, and obviously fix some server side crashes from the one from last week. So that was a massive, massive update we read through there. Um, didn't expect it to go to be that long. Like when you're reading down the patch notes and you're thinking, wow, there's actually so much more that came with this update. And to be fair, I did a lot on the PC updates and I've noticed it hasn't come to consoles. So it was expecting one huge update. And that is basically all of it. And as I said, it's exactly the same on the PlayStation as well. So that is your full update roundup for Ark Survival Evolved, guys. I hope that did keep you guys in the loop. Obviously, we had some big news um, on my in my last video talking about what the next dino could be. We know that we've got the Dinopithecus. We know that we've got the Amargosaurus. And there is one more, as you can see, with one announced creature coming to the Lost Island. What do you think it can be? A lot of people are thinking it's the Kark or the Char, or the Karchar, the Kacharchar, whatever you want to call it, or the Charodontosaurus. I know I'm saying it wrong, and I know you guys always correct me. Um, but yeah, so big news on that. Hopefully we'll find out what the third creature is going to be soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if, you did, if this did help. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. See you guys then.